there are several site preparatory works that need to be accomplished prior to commencing site-related construction activities. However, typical to all construction projects, large or small, site clearing should be the first to be initiated. In this video, key aspects of site clearing will be elaborated. The extent of site clearing shall be shown on the drawings and includes all site clearing activities required to install new facilities and infrastructure at the locations indicated. The area to be cleared shall be clearly marked on the ground prior to the intention to commence site clearing. Any trees or other items within the area to be cleared, which are required to remain intact for the duration of the works, shall be clearly identified. Clearing and grubbing shall be carried out over the areas comprising the full extent of the works, including borrow areas, stockpile sites, access roads, drain alignments, fence lines, and the areas set aside for the establishment on the site. These include the removal of all vegetation, trees, stumps, roots, surface boulders, debris and rubbish, improvements, or obstructions interfering with the installation of new construction. The demolition and removal of structures are deemed to comprise part of the clearing and grubbing operation. Any large depressions occurring as a result of grubbing operations shall be filled with approved material, placed in horizontal layers not exceeding 150 mm loose depth, and thoroughly compacted to a density equal to adjacent original ground. Tree cutting permit from relevant government regulatory offices must be secured prior to commencing any tree cutting related activities. Removal of trees or other vegetation not approved for removal shall not be permitted. Any heavy timber of commercial value shall be set aside on the site in such areas as directed for later use. All other heavy timber that has no commercial value shall be mulched and stockpiled for reuse on areas to be revegetated, or stacked and later buried in a worked out borrow area. Light vegetation and brushwood shall be preferentially used in revegetation, or wind road, or buried. If necessary, remove above grade and below grade improvements to permit new construction work, as shown in the drawings. Obtain written permission from relevant government regulatory offices to relocate any existing permanent utilities, if such utilities are in conflict with the construction of new work. Spoils resulting from site clearing shall not be deposited on or in any type of water body or wetland. Spoil and excess topsoil shall be disposed of in accordance with relevant government rules and regulations. Burning of vegetation is not allowed. Here are relevant footages of site clearing activities.